Hey guys, Professor Watt here, and welcome to the first series that I'm going to be putting on my channel. In this series, we're going to be playing an amazing game. It's called RimWorld, and if you don't know what this game is, it's a sandbox colony building simulator, or yeah, colony simulator, you can see up there underneath the, uh, the title, but basically, you are going to go to a rim world and set up a colony and but there's i kind of left that vague because there's three different things that you can do like you can head to the planet to set up a colony because people are calling you crazy because and yeah let me just jump right in and go over this but crash landed uh, the three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before your ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. And this is the first scenario. It is crash landed. You start with three people and a decent amount of supplies. And this is going to be a good starting point for those of you that are just going to get the game or you're bad at the game. Um... Because it's the most balanced, I would say. And I actually like Crash Landed a lot better, but sometimes you gotta spice it up. You know, you throw Lost Tribe in there or the Rich Explorer. But I like Crash Landed a lot. And uh, for those of you that are new to the game, I would recommend it. So the next one, the Lost Tribe. Your tribe was destroyed by the Great Blood Machines sent by the gods. Five of you managed to escape. Now it's time to build up a new home. And... This one is interesting. I this is my second favorite one and actually it's kind of tied for my favorite one, but I I do like it a lot still. You start with 5 people and so that's nice instead of the 3 or the 1 in the rich explorer, but you start with 5 people, but the the catch is is that you don't have technology. You, oof, excuse me, hiccups. You don't have good technology, like the Rich Explorer or Crash Landed. You start off with basically uh, technology that tribe people had. So that would, inc that would include like passive coolers and campfires and pilas and bows and spears and clubs, all of that stuff. But you do get three random pets, and that's kind of good. And I might do a Lost Tribe series sometime later, because I do like this scenario a lot, and you do have custom scenarios, but I've never really messed around with them. But the next one we're going to get onto is the Rich Explorer. So, people called you crazy for leaving your Glitter World home. But you always yearn to explore the stars. Outside the Nero simulator, now you're at the end of your long journey. In crypto sleep, landing on an unknown rim world to see what it's like. So, you do start out with the technology of gun turrets, and that's really nice. But I would not suggest this for, uh, for new people. You get one random pet, a lot of currency... You get a lot of meals and a lot of medicine, and you get a good weapon. That's basically it. So you've got to choose the best person that you can find, and that is going to take ages. But for now, we're just going to do Crash Landed, because that's that's my favorite. It might be your guys' favorite. But now we're getting on to the AI Storyteller, which is basically the difficulty of the game. So the Storytellers they're going to throw random events at you. Um, and that's going to include like solar flares or random things blowing up or people joining your tribe. And Cassandra Classic is going to be the, not the easiest one. Cassandra Classic is basically classic. It's in the name. It's gonna get progressively harder as you go along. But then you've got Phoebe Chillax. And Phoebe Chillax is basically the easy mode of the game. 
and she'll just throw a whole bunch of easy, uh, easy challenges at you or good events. And then there's Randy Random. Oh, Randy, you have made me lose so many er, civilizations before. Uh, Randy Random is going to be the more interesting storyteller. He's going to be completely random. He can throw an invasion of, like, five people right away at you. You know, you land, and you start building a home, and then, boom, five people come and raid you, because Randy Random. That's him. But for a lasting series on YouTube, and I'm hoping I actually get to finish this game, because there is an end to the game. But just for now, we're going to choose Cassandra Classic on some challenge. Eh, yeah, I'll do some challenge just so that I can get to the end and show you guys what that's like. So this is the cool part in the game. Um, so RimWorld, it does this cool thing where it generates an entire world that you can go and explore. Like, not Minecraft where it's flat and you go out in, you know, X, Y, Z. Well, I mean, this you would go in X, Y, Z, but not a cube. You've got an entire world. You know, you go, you travel ac across the, the world, the rim world. And that's really cool. And that was added a couple months ago in the... Not the newest update anymore, because another one came out a couple days ago. It added rivers and roads. And I have yet to see what actually... What those add to the game. So that's going to be a learning experience for me. Probably not for you guys, since you haven't seen the game. Actually, it will be, but you know what I mean. So, in a couple of seconds here, it'll generate the entire world right there. And so this is the world, and you can see all of the different factions on it. Because you've got your enemies, and you've got your allies, but you've got the tribes people, you've got the pirates, and you've got the technological people. Um, and the pirates will basically always attack you. The tribe people are kind of random if they're going to be your allies. And the technologically advanced people will usually be your allies. I have yet to see a situation where they're not. So for right now, we're just going to click select random site and see where that puts us. And I don't really feel like playing in the whoops I don't feel like playing in the in the tundra so we're gonna select another one not the desert that might be an interesting series for later on but not for now where is this the boreal forest on a river I haven't played on a river you got 20 days for the growing period that's really short Summer temperature is 70 degrees, and average winter temperature is going to be 39.3. Oh, wait, no, that's average temperature. The winter temperature is going to be 7.9. Yeesh, that's basically what it's like here, but... Well, where I live, but it gets a little warmer here in the summer. And I know that because I had to go and mow the lawn today, and that was not fun. But, anyway... Yeah, I guess we can do this. Yeah, we'll select this site. Okay, so now you get to the character selection, and this character is actually ooh, really good all around. Because you've got your construction, you've got a real passion for mining, you've got crafting and intellectual. The only problem is that Sarai, Sarai Tang is... 88 years old and has dementia and usually you don't want people with permanent health issues let's see here yeah part efficiency is minus 15% talking is minus 25 and hearing is 
minus 25%. So it might not be good to choose her, but she is really good all around and is a fast walker. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'll leave her just in case if I can't find anybody else. So for the next person, what do we got here? Uh, we'll just let's randomize. Medicine and intellectual. Don't really need that. Artistic. Wow, I'm getting some really bad rolls for people here. So. Oh. Got a whole bunch of. Oh, greedy. There's just some things that you can't have on people. And that was one of them. Okay, so now we've got a medic and a grower. So that's good. And your construction, right? So this is kind of a, oh wait, volatile. Ooh, mental break threshold is increased. Eh, I haven't really seen that many problems with it. And Winnie, Winnie Vega, cannot fight, but is a good medic and is good at throwing. So we'll we'll keep her. And so we've got construction, this, that. Oh wait, that's right. We need a miner. So. Right there. We're going to go with this. Don't care. So, this is basically... It isn't going to be the first episode. It's kind of be setting up for the first episode. So if you do want to see the first episode, then go and watch the next video that's going to come out around the same time as this. It's going to come out after this, but... Yeah. If you want to see the first episode, then go and watch that. And see how great of a game RimWorld is. I'm Professor What, and I'll see you in the next episode.